Thank you for your partnership with the National Exchange Club. This is a video tutorial that provides the required structure for submission of accreditation and reaccreditation materials. The goal of using this format is to benefit peer reviewers and staff reviewers, but most importantly to make the process easier and more efficient for center staff like you. Please adhere to this structure. The first step of this process is to enter a writable CD-ROM into your computer's disk drive. This disk will be provided at no cost by the National Exchange Club. For our purposes, our disks will be formatted like USB flash drives. This will allow us to save as, copy and paste, or drag and drop content into our disk. Once your disk has been entered, go to your startup menu, then computer, then open your disk. Your disk will have a copy of the Standards of Operation and Practice checklist preloaded on it when you receive it. It may look slightly different from a version you have received in the past. The contents are the same, it just has an additional section labeled Required Documentation after each standard. This was done to help promote organization and efficiency. We will now create seven separate folders that correspond with the seven standards for accreditation. To do this, I will right click, New, then Folder. I will label my folder Standard 1. I will then save all supporting documents for Standard 1 into this folder. Each document must be labeled. It is important to reference my Standards of Operation and Practice checklist at this time. I have Standard 1 and many supporting measures. As I scroll down, I will see the new section labeled Required Documentation to be Submitted for this standard. The first bullet point, Current Mission Statement. I have my center's current mission statement saved to my desktop. I will open my document. I am using an example document for my purposes. Then I will file, save as, and find my disk. I will open the corresponding folder, standard one, then save. I will continue this process with all supporting documents for Standard 1. I will then create my next folder for Standard 2 by right-clicking New Folder. If you scan supporting documents, please only scan documents representative of one measure together at one time. Do not scan mass documents and attach them all at one time. Here I have scanned my orientation agenda for my staff and board. These four documents were scanned together. I am using example documents for my purposes. I will then file, save as, text,
then find my disk. The corresponding folder in this case would be standard one. And then I will label my document. And then save. I will continue the process for all seven standards with each supporting document saved within that standard. It is important when I'm finished with my process that I save all of my work to either a common drive or my desktop. Thank you for your partnership with the National Exchange Club